Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Would the audience please stand as the UNC Police Department Honor Guard approaches the stage for the presentation of colors, and while Maestro William Wilson leads us in singing our national anthem. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. All the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the Audience, please be seated. Welcome to the University of Northern Colorado's undergraduate commencement ceremony. My name is Vish Ayer, and I'll be your host for today's ceremony. Our student farewell address this afternoon will be given by Caitlin Ortiz. Caitlin will be receiving her Bachelor of Arts degree in Communication Studies. Good afternoon, distinguished faculty, staff, friends, family, and fellow Bears. A special shout out to my mom, who I did not tell I was doing this speech until right now. <laughs> hey, mom! <laughs> I'm honored to be speaking on behalf of the fall 2017 graduating class. <laughs> Before I enrolled here at the University of Northern Colorado, I had actually dropped out of college after attending four different institutions. At the time, I had been battling some physical and mental health issues from which I received no support from my institution, and I was told that I would never graduate from college. Feeling pretty defeated, I just figured that college wasn't for me. I moved to Ohio, and I found a full-time job at a nonprofit organization that I loved, but unfortunately, the pay wasn't great. And I realized that if I wanted to make an impact in the way that I wanted and actually get paid well for it, I would need to get a degree. My partner got a job at housing at, here at UNC, which brought us to Greeley. And after trying to find full-time work for about a year, they started nudging me to become a bear, whatever that meant. I was really hesitant at first, thinking that UNC would have the same unwelcoming and unsupportive atmosphere as every other institution I'd attended, and that now as a non-traditional student, I would find even harder to find community on this campus and would receive even less support. Eventually, though, I submitted my application, and here we are. I never thought that I would be at my college graduation, graduating with honors, and standing in front of you all representing my class. 
But I think that that is what UNC does. It pulls the greatness out of its students. We get back what we put in two, three, four times over. And I think in part because we are seen as people first and students second. Throughout my time here at UNC, there have been many significant events, not only on our campus, but within our community and worldwide that have created an impact amongst a lot of my peers. It was during these times that I experienced a sense of togetherness and discovered a community of support here when faculty, staff, and students joined together to support one another. I found that my faculty cared about me, Caitlin, and not just me, one of many other thousands of students. And that's when I knew that I would succeed here, even as a queer, married, 26-year-old, woman-identified, non-traditional student. <laughs> I stand here today looking at all of you, and I truly see chosen family. We have spent hours together in class and at campus events. We have learned together, struggled together, stayed up all night cramming for exams together, and waited in excessively long lines at the coffee corner together. When each of us walks across the stage, we are ending our time together at, as University of Northern Colorado undergraduate students. While we will no longer be navigating college with each other, we'll be off changing the world as nurses, scientists, educators, activists, future lawyers, doctors, CEOs, and so much more. We are going to change the world together. <laughs> Malcolm Forbes once said that diversity is the art of thinking independently together, which I truly believe that that is what we have done here together as Bears and what we will continue to do. Graduation symbolizes an extraordinary accomplishment. It opens up the chapter to our next big adventure, whatever that may be. As University of Northern Colorado graduates, we have been instilled with wisdom, knowledge, and insight that we need to succeed and create a lasting impact wherever we go. With all of the love, encouragement, and inspiration we have gained from our families, friends, but most importantly, each other, we can and will conquer our dreams and leave the world a better place than when we found it. Fellow bears of the December 2017 graduating class, we have prevailed. We all have, <laughs> we all have different intersecting identities and have all faced different challenges related to those identities, and yet we made it to this day anyway. <laughs> After, be yeah. <laughs> After being beaten down by sometimes dissatisfactory grades, all of the annoying responsibilities that we know come along with adulting, and all of our own erroneous self-talk, we are now a part of the estimated 33% of people who earn a bachelor's degree. We have surpassed the odds. <laughs> now when we throw our caps into the air, I hope that we can reflect upon all of the challenges, the struggles, but most of all, the successes that we have faced that have ultimately led us to this day and give ourselves a huge congratulations. We did it. It really is a great day to be a bear. Now let's graduate. It is my now distinct pleasure to introduce to you the president of the University of Northern Colorado, Kay Norton. Thank you, Dr. Iyer. Good afternoon, graduates and guests. Welcome to the University of Northern Colorado's Fall 2017 Undergraduate Commencement Ceremony. We offer a special thank you to the University Trombone Ensemble and Conductor and Professor Nathaniel Wickham for the music played during the processional. In addition, we appreciate Professor of Music William Wilson for leading us in singing the national anthem this afternoon. And we are also grateful to Caitlin Ortis for delivering our student farewell address. And to our UNC Police Department Honor Guard for presenting the colors. Joining me on the platform today are many of the stewards of UNC's academic traditions and the leaders who helped direct us toward the future. Would the members of UNC's Governing Board of Trustees who are in attendance today please stand and be recognized as I call your names. Trustee Janice Sinden, Faculty Trustee Vish Iyer, 
Student Trustee Michael Kelly. Thank you, trustees. Also in attendance are the administrators, vice presidents, and deans whose leadership fosters an environment that allows teaching and scholarship to thrive at this university. Would these individuals please stand and be recognized? Thank you. Graduates, this commencement ceremony marks not an end, but a beginning. That is why we call it commencement. As you leave the university to continue on your own remarkable journeys, you will begin to change the world. You will give strength to your communities. You will enrich the lives of others. You will open doors to new discoveries. You will collaborate on groundbreaking innovations. You will lead us to a better tomorrow. While none of us can be entirely certain about the path our journey will take, you can be certain that you are prepared to navigate whatever lies ahead. This is a momentous occasion. You are about to become part of the storied history of the University of Northern Colorado. In 1891, the first 12 graduates of our institution celebrated commencement, and we are honored to have you join them in this noble tradition. As you reflect today on this accomplishment and think about the opportunities ahead, I hope you will also remember to enjoy this moment. Relish your time in the spotlight. Look up and smile for the camera and know that you have achieved something truly remarkable. Graduates, let's look back on highlights from this past year. At this time, I am very pleased to introduce our keynote speaker, the Honorable Paula Sherlock. UNC alumna Paula Sherlock served as a Circuit County Judge in Jefferson County, Kentucky, and, the, and as the Chief Judge of Family Court in Louisville from 2005 until her recent retirement in 2017. Paula was selected as Judge of the Year by the Louisville Bar Association in 2015, the Women Lawyers Association in 2016, and the American Academy of Matrimonial Attorneys of Kentucky in 2014. In 2013, COSER Children's Hospital selected her as Child Advocate of the Year. Judge Sherlock was recently appointed by the Kentucky Supreme Court to serve on the Child Fatality and Near Fatality External Review Panel, which reviews child deaths and near deaths due to caregiver abuse and neglect. Upon her retirement in September, the Kentucky House of Representatives recognized her longtime service to families and children with a commendation for service. Please join me in welcoming Paula Sherlock. <clears throat> President Norton, esteemed faculty and staff, honored graduates and proud family and friends. It is a supreme honor and an unexpected pleasure to be asked to address you today. My husband Ike and I 
uh, graduated from UNC in 1970 and 1971. Uh, you, if you have a few moments, you can go over to Gunner Hall because he was inducted into the Athletic Hall of Fame here a few years ago. We were the first in our families to attend college and we traveled far from our homes in Virginia to enroll at UNC. We didn't have a lot of money and we existed on his, his athletic scholarship and my academic scholarship and a series of work study jobs and also the generosity of the local Greeley community who sometimes gave poor struggling students uh, cheap meals, free haircuts, and once even a discount baby delivery. We lived in married student housing. We paid $50 a month. That included our utilities and some furniture. It was out by the railroad tracks and our baby's first word was not mama or papa, it was choo-choo. If I were graduating this year, I think I would be a little scared to go out into this world with my new degree in light of some of the kind of scary things that we see every day. Our headlines are grim. There are so many tragedies. But I remind you that my years at UNC also coincided with very tumultuous, confusing, and exciting years, both for our country and here on campus. I started college in 1967, the summer of love, the hippie revolution. Here at UNC, we also saw the Vietnam War, Kent State, the Nixon presidency, the rise of women's lib, racial equality, the assassinations of Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy, the first man walked on the moon, UNC became a university, the Charles Manson murders happened. Microprocessors and the VCR were introduced. Woodstock happened and the Beatles broke up. Far from being a backwater, UNC students, faculty, and curriculum embraced these monumental changes in American history. I took my first woman's study class here at UNC, and I will tell you, it may not be groundbreaking now, but in 1967, what I heard was pretty amazing about what women could do. And some of what I learned in that class had a lot to do with decisions I made later in my life. I also marched with Mothers Against the War with a baby in a backpack, and my husband's wrestling team once wrestled to a completely empty gym because of a protest going on outside. And there was also a hippie commune right outside of Greeley. My degree at UNC opened many, many doors for me, and I want to give a special shout out to those people who were here with the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences, because that would have been me when I was here. And I have spent the first part of my career as a teacher, and I will tell you that nothing I've ever done was more important or valuable than my years spent as a teacher and a counselor. I eventually did doctoral work at the University of Virginia and achieved a law degree at Washington and Lee University. After a very long and windy road, I was appointed by the governor of Kentucky to be a circuit court judge, and I was twice elected to that seat in Louisville. Any words of wisdom I have for you really come from my years on the bench. I have a list of rules posted on the outside of my courtroom, and we expect people to abide by this. I think these rules work pretty well in your life also. Rule number one, be ready when your case is called. Show up, be on time, and be prepared. In court, if you don't show up on time and aren't prepared, you're gonna lose your case, or it's gonna be dismissed, or you might be held in contempt of court. But in your real life, if you don't show up on time and be prepared, you are gonna miss many, many opportunities that this degree has prepared you for. Rule number two, you will be given an oath to tell the truth. You are expected to tell the truth. Now in court, we tell people every day, tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you God. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't, and it's up to judges and juries to figure that out. In your real life, if you lose your reputation for honesty and integrity, it will affect every part of your life, both personally and professionally. Someone told me a long time ago, 
don't ever start on a road that you don't want to end up on, and I think that's excellent advice. Rule number three, and this is my most important rule, turn off your cell phone. In court, cell phones are distracting, annoying, and they interfere with the work of the court. In your real life, cell phones are also distracting, annoying, and interfere with your life. In court, if your phone rings during the proceedings, the deputy sheriff will take it away from you, put it in a box, and you can come back 24 hours later and pick it up. And the judge will be extremely annoyed with you. In your real life, if you forget to turn off your phone, at least from time to time, you will have lots of tweets and photos and Instagrams, but you will miss precious, irreplaceable moments with your family, with your friends. You may know what your friend in Texas is having for dinner, but you may not know what's happening at your own dining room table. Please remember that the best way to connect with others is not through a selfie, but with yourself. Those are my basic court rules. Show up on time, be prepared, tell the truth, and turn off your cell phone from time to time. You have earned a fine education from a wonderful university. This is a big step towards an amazing future. Make it count, make yourself worthy, and uphold the legacy of UNC's success. Congratulations, and thank you. Thank you, Paula. We appreciate you joining us today and sharing your thoughts uh, with our graduates, their guests, and their families. Thank you again. My name is Leo Welch, and I am the acting provost for the University of Northern Colorado. Among the many traditions associated with commencement is the presentation of the mace and college banners during the processional. These items symbolize the graduates' accomplishments and the university's commitment to student success. The selection of the banner bearer is considered to be a special honor. Those serving as banner bearers today have been recognized and selected by their colleges based upon their academic contributions. Would our mace and banner bearers please stand up and be recognized? In addition, we acknowledge our commencement marshals, deputy marshals, and marshal captains who serve as leaders during these ceremonies. Would these faculty members please rise and be recognized? Here at UNC, it is our faculty's commitment to students that truly sets us apart from other universities. The heart of the University of Northern Colorado is our faculty, the scholars who, create, who teach our students and perform research and creative works as they serve the university. Would the faculty members who are present please stand to be recognized. Thank you. Today, I have the honor of recognizing some of our most distinguished student scholars as well. Will candidates for Latin honors, summa cum laude, magnum cum laude, and cum laude please stand? I think you can stay standing, you deserve it. St stand for a second. To qualify for Latin honors, these students have successfully completed at least 56 credit hours at UNC and have achieved the necessary cumulative grade point averages throughout their academic careers. The grade point averages are as follows. 3.9 grade point average or higher for summa cum laude, 3.8 to 3.89 grade point average for magna cum laude, 3.7 to 3.79 grade point averages for cum laude. These students are identified by their blue and gold cords. Individual honors will be announced as students receive their diplomas. 
One more round of applause. Please be seated. What our university honors, scholars, and leadership program, as well as mortar board students, please stand. Any here? Wonderful. <laughs> These students can be identified by their gold stoles or silver or gold tassels, and we recognize them for superior achievements in scholarship, leadership, and service. One more round of applause. Thank you. Will the candidates who have been recommended for teacher licensure please stand? Probably a number of you. The University of Northern Colorado has a long history of excellence in teacher education. The candidates who have been recommended for teacher licensure wear light blue tassels. Please join me in recognizing their accomplishments and one more round of applause. <laughs> Please be seated. The laws of the state of Colorado vest the authority for the University of Northern Colorado in its board of trustees. We are pleased to have Trustee Janice Sinden give the authorization for the conferring of degrees. The Board of Trustees extends its congratulations to our UNC graduates and their families. We are proud of your accomplishments and the significant milestones in your life. President Norton, by the virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Trustees for the University of Northern Colorado and as a member of the board, I hereby authorize you to confer on this term's graduates the appropriate degrees as recommended by the faculty of the university. Thank you, Trustee Sinden. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please stand? By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon you, individually and severally, the Bachelor of Arts degree, with all of the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Thank you, and please be seated. Because... <laughs> The deans of their respective colleges will now present the graduates who have met the requirements for the degrees established and recommended by their college's faculty. Hello, my name is Eugene Sheehan, Dean of the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Why, thank you. Will the candidates receiving bachelor degrees from the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences please come forward to receive your diplomas? Jordan Freeman. Gabrielle Tyson. Michaela Garashi. Rebecca Gomez. Carly Lindbauer Watkins. Takesha Ibarra. Peyton Munn. Dela Kaley. Caitlin Bandy, magna cum laude. Jessica Brodeen, summa cum laude. Megan Holmberg. Ashton Yao, summa cum laude. 
Elena Young. Allison Owens. Cum Laude. Kaylin Dennis. Aaron Johnson. Amanda Beatty. Brianna Saratori. Madeline Epperson. Rebecca Erickson, summa cum laude. Rachel King. Jody Meir, magna cum laude. Adriana Diaz. Alejandro Brambilla Bernal. Elizabeth Potter. Alicia Lands. Yeah. Kayla Ann Uisugi. Jessica Beige. Yeah. Megan McCormick. Allison Fla, summa cum laude. Lindsay Morrow. Andrew Shoemate. Sydney Dwayne. Nicholas Searles, cum laude. Mackenzie Thomas. Woo! Kayla Terrasis. Shelby Blanton. Amy Watkins, cum laude. Olivia Ginnenbacher, cum laude. Christina Olson, summa cum laude. Kelly Ramali. Ashley Roper. Bailey Armstrong. Alyssa Ellison. Jennifer Cameron. Anna Rue. Dawn Christie. Helen Campos. Julie Clark. Maisie Alba. Jordan Crawford. Allison Buckley. Sydney New Delman. Haley Smith. Aliyah Harris. Angela Grunder. Samantha Kawada. Allison Benner. Carolyn Longmire, summa cum laude. Taylor Coppersmith. Tamara Monroe. Rebecca Anderson, magna cum laude. Emily Lauderbach. Kiera Meckelberg, magna cum laude. Kayla Zar. Alexandria Lichter. Catherine East, summa cum laude. Jasmine Mayeda. Elise Grosserk. Sarah Runia. Yasmin Canales. Elana Conti. Melissa Cardenas. Kaylee Galuti. Amber Cassidy. Michaela Sines. Renee Kling. Vanessa Salazar Turriago, cum laude. Bailey Craig. <laughs> Amanda Short. Jessica Giesing. Taylor Stanick. James Heinshaw V. Lindsay Roberts. Christine Kieser. Erica Wall. Shauna Murphy. Brandy Alexander. Josephine Puga. 
Andre Thomas. Christian. Christian Silva. Adriana Adair. Gets a Berica Terefa. Matthew Fuller. <laughs> Elaine Williams. Amelia Dobbenspeck. Sarah Anderson. <laughs> Zoe Cutler, summa cum laude. Joanna Costas. Calypso Bernand, magna cum laude. Savannah Denherder. Amber Bergen. Mariah Zachary. Kristen Huff. Becky Cruz, cum laude. Megan Morelli. Samantha Huckabee. Michaela McBride. Samantha Lawler. Marshall Drew. Kara Trender, summa cum laude. Marshall Jewell. Heather Turner. Heather Turner Holmes. Lauren Taylor. Maria Danielle Lowry, summa cum laude. Gianna Stover, summa cum laude. Allison Fanning. Atlal Alanazi. Good afternoon. My name is Laura Connolly, Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Will the candidates for bachelor degrees from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, as well as those candidates from University College, please come forward and receive your diplomas. Sarah Oliva. Caitlin Ortis, summa cum laude. Jesus, Jesus Bustillos Leon. Caleb Brooks. Desiree Gore. Courtney Dwyer. Michaela Smyzer. Stefan Gomes. Drake Acosta. Joshua Mond. Brandon Cartagena. It's Marissa Pacheco. Austin Barquette. Megan Bennett. Natalie Luna. Kayla Lausch, summa cum laude. Jasmine Rodriguez. Nasser Al Jaffer. Jessica Chavez. <laughs> Daniel Kimmelly. Vanessa Ariano. <laughs> Jenna Vanderbreek, summa cum laude. Anna Pedraza. Uh, Bridget Rivera, magna cum laude. Kitia Cordova. Avery Adam. Caitlin Michaels. Alexia Diaz. Aubrey Brown, summa cum laude. Ashley DeFolvio. Carter Kuntz. No. Alexis Murillo. Minatarin Haif, cum laude. Nathan Medina. Kaylee 
Jalnik. Josh Morse, magna cum laude. Taylor Wilson. Lauren Ruva Kalba. Ryan Weinert. Christopher Hewitt. Baron Verna, summa cum laude. Madison Williams. Robert Fulton. Hugo Alejandro Garcia. Travis Potts. Giovanni oh, Riley. <laughs> Jordan Clark. Brianna White. Emil Bishaw. Rose Serna Ginsburg. Megan Potashchik. Christian Montez. Andrew Stigler. Darian Martinez, summa cum laude. Christopher Davis, cum laude. Logan Smith. Samantha Edwards. Jack Colton. Madeline Woolsey. Katie Leeper, magna cum laude. Lavon Petrosian. Molly Gleason. Josh Welcher. Rebecca Moore. <laughs> Hannah Connor. McKenna Behrens. <laughs> Megan and David Bissell, magna cum laude. <laughs> Andrea North. Andres Rangel. Alexandria Klein. Devlin Sherrill. Stephen Rice. <laughs> Ashley Guthrie. Tucker Blake. <laughs> Alexander Mead. Antoinette Caligari. Arnisha Parr. Robin Morris. Avery Sexton. Tyler Warner. Brittany Bathrick. Ashley Solvey. Emma Allen Morgan. April Kubishta. The results of hard work and sacrifice are rarely as evident as they are at commencement. There is nothing more rewarding than seeing all of you come across this stage. Education transforms our lives in ways personal and particular to each of us. Who you are today as a University of Northern Colorado graduate is not the sum of your potential. You are a work in progress. All of us are, if we commit to it. The first class of graduates from your alma mater, the class of 1891, adopted a motto that may serve you well on your own journey. Achievement is pioneered by ideals. Many generations of our graduates exemplify this ideal. As a UNC graduate, you are joining a distinguished group of alumni from across the country and around the world. It is now my pleasure to introduce Jill Trotter. Jill, Jill is a member of the UNC Alumni Association's Advisory Board of Directors. She holds a Bachelor of Arts in Speech Communication from UNC. 
Jill is an active volunteer in the Greeley community and continues to be both a supporter and advisor for multiple organizations here at UNC. Please welcome Jill Trotter. Thank you, President Norton. Congratulations, class of 2017. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the UNC Alumni Association. You are a part of a network of more than 130,000 UNC alumni worldwide. So wherever you go after graduation, you'll never be far from another bear. Remember this network, whether you're headed to the classroom, the boardroom, or the Broadway stage, because we're here to support you, just as you'll be there to support the graduates who follow you. As you move forward, maintain connections with your friends, your professors, and the university. Use the Bear Network to your advantage as you search for a job, find a new place to call home, or look for ways to stay connected to UNC. Will everyone who is a UNC alumnus or alumna please stand? Look around you, graduates. This is just a part of your network. These are your fellow bears. Thank you, and you can sit down. Graduates, celebrate today, but this is not the finish line that defines your life. Go beyond today and make a positive impact in the world, personally and professionally. This impact will define your life and distinguish you as an alum of this great university. Regardless of where life takes you, you will always be connected to UNC. Remember, graduates, once a bear, Always a bear. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. Graduates, your achievement and success could not have happened without the support of your family and friends. These people believed in your ability to succeed and have been there to cheer you on. Please take a moment to thank them with a round of applause. In just a moment, the University Trombone Ensemble will perform the recessional. Would the audience and the graduates please remain seated until the stage party and faculty leave the arena and you are dismissed by the commencement marshals. Lastly, graduates, as a symbol of your transition from student to alumnus, you may move your tassel to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations. Congratulations. I declare the fall 2017 undergraduate commencement ceremony at a close. <laughs>